Good morning everyone from Jeff's Little Engine Service. So this is one of the most common lawn mowers I see, lawn mower engines I should say, and most common lawn mower problem, which is it won't start. A lot of times you'll get this problem after storing your lawn mower for the winter. Most likely what the problem is, is a contaminated fuel system. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to clean your fuel system and carburetor. Get you back mowing again. Let's do it! So the first thing you want to do is basically just take off the gas cap, tip the thing over, and drain out all the gas. So I've already done that, and this is what you come up with. So I think you can see in there, there's a whole lot of sediment, and crud, and if you hold it like this, you can also see that there's water in it. See the water swirling around at the bottom? So this carburetor and fuel tank are definitely contaminated. So this part is important. You want to leave it out in the sunshine for a few hours so all the remaining gas inside the tank dries out and or water. And there'll be water in there too that needs to dry out. And the best way to do it is just to let it sit in the hot sun. Now the other procedure you need to do is drain the carburetor and clean it out. And to do that you basically you're going to want to lift it up and support it like this. So it's a little easier to it's a little easier to get to the carburetor if you can prop up the front end like this. And you can see the carburetor float bowl right there. It takes a half inch socket here to take it off. There's one bolt on the bottom. Be careful not to strip it. Now you will get some gas that leaks out. So I'll put a towel under here and put on a glove. And if you have any remaining fuel left in the tank, this usually drains the rest of it out. And there comes the gas. And there's the bolt that holds it on. There's a gasket that goes there. It looks like it's stuck to the bottom of the float bowl. So this is a very important bolt here. Not only does it hold on your float bowl, but it is your um, carburetor main jet. So when this gets plugged, your engine won't run. And that's usually the problem. So if you see, there's a hole in the end. And there's actually holes on each side here. I don't know if you could see that. And you'll just want to make sure you poke. I usually use like uh, just some wire, very thin wire, and poke it through and make sure to clean this out. Very important step because this is usually what's wrong. So to get the float bowl off, usually just give it a little tap and the bowl comes off. You also have a, an O-ring gasket uh, on the carburetor. It looks like it stayed on the carburetor, so that's perfect. And here we can take off the bowl. And y'all can see what we have inside. Definitely contaminated with water and sediment. So we'll want to clean this out thoroughly. And I'm going to set this down so any remaining gas inside the gas tank drains out through the carburetor. And you can see that's the uh, the gasket, so don't lose that. Sometimes it stays on the main jet. If it's torn, replace it or make your own. We're about as clean as we can be on this carburetor float bowl. It's a good idea to clean all this up so no more stuff gets inside the carburetor. I usually clean the gas cap too.
One of the things that really helps to do is blowing air in the tank. You can, but the idea is you want to completely dry out the fuel system. And to do that, you do have to create suction here on the tank and blow everything out through the carburetor. Just do this until you don't have any more gas coming out of the carburetor. Now once this tank dries out completely in the sun, I'll spray it in again. And you'll see there'll be a lot of dried up sediment that comes flying out of the tank. And if you don't have air to clean out your gas tank, another way you can do it is if you see here right behind the, uh, the fuel cap, is your fuel line and there's just a clamp right there you can take that clamp off and pull off that rubber fuel line and drain out your gas tank uh, thoroughly that way and your fuel line too you want to make sure it's all dried out before you reinstall it and that's another way to do it if you don't have the compressed air but spraying air down in there uh, is a real good cheap fast easy way to clean out the fuel system that's why I do it works every time 80% of the time I've already poked out this little piece make sure all the passages are clear and it's ready to go back on yes indeed it's the old Briggs & Stratton Craftsman gold model 6.75 Foot pounds of torque. Good job, Briggs and Stratton. This quantum engine design has been around forever. This one has the auto choke set up on it, which is perfect. They are very dependable, rarely fail, and uh, you can usually get it started with one pull. One of the most common engine designs ever made the quantum Briggs and Stratton lawnmower engine. I also decided to take a look at the air filter here and that's what we have. Yuck. Let's replace that. It's also a good idea to clean out this air box a little bit before you put it back on. Brand new air filter. Hot dog. And it's a 5 16th size wrench to take off the air filter. And I'll check the oil too just to make sure that we have some. And we do. Probably end up changing that and replacing the spark plug. Spark plugs are only a few dollars and it's always a good idea to replace them so you know they're good. So I'm sure the fuel system's all dried out now been sitting out here for several hours. Let's go ahead and put the carburetor back together. One of the things you'll want to make sure and check, you see that's your carburetor float there. You'll just want to look and make sure that the carburetor is not too dirty on the inside. This one looks pretty clean. A lot of time this, this little part in the middle will get all corroded, but this one's in good shape. So I just blew a little bit of air in there. And you can, still, you can see that we still have the float bowl o-ring on there. And our float bowl's cleaned out and we have the gasket there. We cleaned out the main jet. Just make sure you don't knock off any uh, dirt into the carburetor float bowl when you're mounting it up. A lot of times there's a lot of dirt down there. Don't over tighten this because you can break something. Don't ask me how I know, but I know. That's pretty good. I'm also going to put a wrench on these head bolts, something I always do. This one is always loose, it seems like. Just 
looks like that one was a little loose. Check every bolt. Got a new spark plug in there. It's an NGK B2LM. Let's see if I can do this without spilling any. I doubt it. Ah. That's good enough. I've spilled enough. Okay, so let's review. I replaced the spark plug, the air filter, and I cleaned out the fuel system, including the carburetor. Let's see if this baby runs. Yeah, it runs good, except the pull rope is whacked. It won't pull back in. Damn. It's always something. So one of the tricks that sometimes works when the pulley won't return is if you can get some spray lubricant up under there it's like right under this cover that you need to get it uh, where the spring is sometimes that can help loosen things up sometimes it doesn't so I've fiddled with this starter and I pretty much have the rope all the way back in so I know the spring is still working it just needs some lubricant up in there. I'm going to take this cover off. It's just two screws. And I'm going to spray some lubricant in there on that starter spring. And a lot of times that'll loosen up some stuff and make it work again. You can see some oil there where I tried spraying it without taking that off first and it just didn't get where it's supposed to get to. The spring is actually coiled up underneath this housing here. So you want to get the lube up underneath here. Now one of the ways to do this is to find the, uh, the little spring hole. And that's it right there. You see that? That's actually the tab of the spring. And there's a hole there. Now you see when I pull the string, that little tab moves. So you want to find out where it's at and zero in on that sucker. And as I said, there's a hole right there. So I'm going to tip the mower up a little bit and spray it down in that hole. the spring a little bit. And I think that might have fixed it. Yep. It's all you need is a little bit of lube and it's fixed. See? It seems to be working now. Tech tip number 6,484. Alright. Let's get this cover back on test this thing out one more time and see how we're doing.
fixed. That's how it's done, son.